Hello and welcome to KringleCon. I'm coming to you from the North Pole and I regret to inform you that the Velociraptors have escaped. They're chasing the elves around. They've defaced my slides. It's Bedlam. I'm sorry. Hang on a second. Guys. Guys. Guys! <clears throat> Terribly sorry about that. Once again, I am Dan Banker and welcome to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Raptor acquiring triage images via EDR. I am the Cyber Elf Team Lead at Motorola Solutions. My team does about half IR and about half threat hunting. You can follow me on Twitter at CyberShredder. Who am I? I am into metal. I'm into guitar. I'm into iRacing, which is sort of this uh, hyper-realistic uh, racing sim. Uh, you can race online against people from across the world. Uh, if you get into this, I'll warn you, don't bother racing anybody from Finland because you will lose. Uh, when I have spare time, I'm into InfoSec. I have over a year in the industry. I've got more than one sand certs. Nobody cares about that though, right? Uh, the CLI is better than the GUI and I will die on this hill. Now, quick rant. Uh, I don't know if you follow Ian Coldwater on Twitter, but uh, she does lots of cool stuff in the Kubernetes uh, container security space. And here is somebody trying to mansplain her a CVE that she co-authored. Guys, we need to do better than this. Uh, our industry cannot fill the positions that we have available, and that means we need women. Uh, the problem is when women try to join our boys club, uh, we mansplain them, we gatekeep them, and that's when we're not being outright misogynistic. This needs to change. So what's Velociraptor? Uh, well, it's a unique advanced open source endpoint monitoring, digital forensic, and cyber response platform. Uh, among other things, it collects and exports artifacts. Uh, it can use it to hunt for bad guys in your network. Now, when I was taking Forensics 508, uh, which I highly recommend, great class, uh, they mentioned that you can use it to create an executable. Now, this gave me an idea. If you've seen any of my other talks, you may have seen me talk about uh, Carbon Black Response uh, and Threat Hunter. Uh, just about any EDR product has some sort of live response capability. Uh, essentially, that's a shell that you can open up on any of your endpoints that has a sensor on it. You can do things like run processes, kill processes, uh, collect RAM, collect files, uh, do things like that, uh, which is a, a great uh, incident response capability to have. Uh, so this gave me the idea, can we use this to obtain a triage image? Now, if you're not uh, heavy into forensics, a triage image is uh, just the good stuff. Uh, it's going to be things like registry hives, Windows event logs, uh, browser history, stuff like that. Uh, this is a much smaller, uh, much smaller amount of data that you're pulling back from your host. Uh, saves you from having to capture uh, the entire image but uh, it should be enough to give you some idea if there's something hinky going on in the system. Uh, so what I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you in carbon black because that's what I'm familiar with. Uh, but uh, you can do this with any, any product that you can upload and download files to a remote host and run processes on the remote host. Uh, I'm not sure if you can do this with uh, something like Big Fix. I haven't tried it. So what we're going to do first is start our Velociraptor server. Uh, essentially, you, you need to download an executable and uh, install it. Then you're going to generate a config, uh, create a user, admin user probably. Uh, then you're going to start the server. It's going to listen on localhost 8889. So you can do everything that we're going to see here from a browser. Uh, I got to give a shout out. The documentation is great. It's step by step. Uh, I always am a fan of that. So we're gonna go to the server artifacts page and click on what I think is a paper airplane right here. I don't know. So search for cape with a K uh, and then select windows.capefiles.targets and select add. Then you're gonna scroll down where it says uh, configured parameters here on the right uh, and check the box that you want. Now basic collection and sans triage are great starting points. Uh, they'll get most of the good stuff, but you can add uh, or take away things that you're interested in or not interested in. So now we've created a shiny new collector. Uh, go to the uploaded files tab that's still on the same 
uh, same page as we were just on and download the collector. Okay, so now we're going to deploy the collector. In Carbon Black Live Response, uh, the way we're going to do this is to start up a live response session, uh, connect to the host, and use the put command. Uh, quick OPSEC note, desktop is not a great destination. You don't want to do this anywhere that your users can see the files being created. Now we're going to use exec to run the executable. Uh, give it about 15 minutes. That's all it should need to do what it's going to do. Then we've got a series of output files. So in the same directory that you ran Velociraptor from, it's going to create an HTML report, a zip file, and a log. Uh, the zip file is going to contain your artifacts, your registry, your event logs, your browser history, whatever you told it to collect. Um, and your artifact locations are going to be the same as on the disk. So if you're looking for something in Windows slash System32 slash config, it's going to be in that same folder tree under the C folder in that zip file. Uh, it should be about 500 megabytes or so, depending on what you've told it to collect. So now you can find the bad stuff. Uh, this is the HTML report. Uh, so you can see it's collected some cookies here, uh, Chrome extensions, which as we all know can be malicious, and browser history, which, you know, if you're looking for uh, a user who's spending all day on Facebook, there it is right there. Uh, whatever you collected is going to be in this report. So it's sort of a duplicate of uh, running whatever tools you're in, you like uh, on these artifacts. A couple of caveats here. Uh, it doesn't always work. Um, I haven't been able to figure out why. I haven't had the, uh, uh, the time to run this down. Sometimes uh, I give it enough time to run. I check that the process that I started is not still running. So Velociraptor is done, but the uh, output files are empty. I I'm not sure why. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with uh, the operating system. Also, if you're doing something that is discoverable in court, you need to know that the file mount timestamps are going to be changed. So what you're doing is copying all these files from one location to another location. So things like uh, last modified time are going to be different. Uh, the times within like registry hive should still be good, but uh, if you're doing something that's discoverable in court, it's probably best to uh, just grab the whole image. This is great for trying to find malware or to get some idea if there's something worth looking at. Uh, if you've seen any of my other talks, you know that I like to automate things. Uh, and it so happened that just after I figured out how to make Velociraptor work, we had an incident where we needed to grab about 20 triage images. Would have been super cool to be able to automate this. Uh, however, we hadn't had time to do it yet. Uh, unfortunately, being a global company, if uh, our users are in like APAC or something like that, somebody has to stay up all night to find the host online. Luckily, I have minions. This wasn't me that had to do it, but I still uh, want to be able to automate this. Luckily, Carbon Black has a great API. Um, almost anything that you can do in uh, the GUI, you can also do through the API. Uh, so we're going to be working on this. Uh, one of the things, like for example, we'd start a job to check every five or ten minutes to see if the host is online. When it finds it online, then it starts to upload the file, run it, and then grab all the artifacts. Uh, also, we want to be able to integrate this with our ticketing platform so we can just have analysts press a button and then have it be done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this interesting. Uh, hit me up on Twitter. Thanks, and have a great Christmas. Ho, 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 ho.